Hi, you guys. It's Shauna from Espel Wellness. I am excited to be on here to share um, some natural solutions and oils that we can use to decrease our toxic load. So um, you might have heard about toxic load, and toxic load is really just about um, all the environmental toxins, toxins from our food, toxins from our products, um, toxins just from, um, you know, the water and the air and all of that that is constantly filling up our body. And yes, our body does have organs to help us process that. Um, but unfortunately, um, because there is so much of that, it really is a load on our body. And so that's why we're hearing more and more about toxic load. Um, so I like to kind of describe it as like our body's kind of like that silo and it just starts filling up and filling up and then eventually that silo overflows and that's when we start to see um, symptoms and illness and disease and those kind of things happening from toxic load. So super important for us to tune into that so that we can help to decrease that load on our body so that we can be healthy um, and there's some super easy ways to do that so i want to share that with you guys um, i kind of like to think of it like there's three different ways that we can really have an impact um, and that's in our personal care items that we use our cleaning items that we use and then some of the lifestyle choices that we make and so i will talk about those three things tonight um, first up just personal care items so um, you know, just even the items that we're using um, to do something as simple as wash our hands, because washing our hands are a really great way for us to stay well, and we know that. But if we are washing our hands with soap that's loaded with chemicals um, or hand sanitizers that are loaded with tons of different things that really... Um, Many studies are finding that those things are not good for us and actually probably um, may even be causing us to be sick when we're thinking that we are getting rid of those, those toxins, those germs. So soaps are a really great place to start and they're actually a really cool thing that you can make yourself. Um, so they're super affordable that way. So I actually wanted to show you guys how to make uh, foamy can soap on your own. So I'm going to go for this for um, a little demonstration. So hopefully this will work out here. So um, this is just a bottle that's empty. It's um, a foaming hand soap dispenser. This particular one, um, I just bought them in bulk actually on Amazon. Um, you just want to make sure when you're looking through that you're looking for safe plastic. So when you read through the description of the item, just make sure that um, it's a safe plastic that you are choosing. So um, this is one, I just put a cute little sticker on there. It says clean hands. Um, doTERRA also has um, the empty foaming hand soap dispenser. So those are available to use as well. I'm gonna use this one just for something different. And so um, what you're gonna do is you're going to actually put in two tablespoons of Castile soap. So I'm looking at the recipe over here because I'll be honest with you, I've been doing it for so long that I just kind of eyeball it. But I want to get it good for you guys um, in case it's the first time you're doing it. So I use Dr. Broner's. I use um, the unscented one. So this is called the baby unscented. It's that light blue color one of the ones that they have. And so you will use two tablespoons of this. So you're going to take two tablespoons of this. And I'm actually measuring for you guys. I usually just kind of eyeball it. Um, once you start doing it, you're going to realize that you can do that too. So you'll put your two tablespoons of that Castile soap in there. And so you only use two tablespoons of that for one container of soap. And look how giant this thing is. It's going to last you forever. All right, so you've got your two tablespoons of Castile in there, and then you want to add one teaspoon of fractionated coconut oil. Um, doTERRA has one. Um, it's just a smaller bottle, so I tend to use this in vivo one that I really like. This brand um, that I also get on Amazon. So I've got the pump in there, and I've got my teaspoon. So we're going to put a teaspoon of fractionated coconut oil, and that's really just giving you that moisturizing effect when you are washing your hands. So you've got Castile soap in there, you've got your fractionated coconut oil in there, and then you're going to choose whichever essential oil you want to use. 
So I tend to use On Guard in our house because that's doTERRA's protective blend. That's the one that really helps with the immune support. So you're gonna put 10 drops in your bottle. All right, if you get a couple extra in there, you're okay. And then you're gonna fill the rest of the bottle with filtered water. And then you'll have your hand soap. So you'll put that on and you'll be ready to go. Super quick, super easy, and you can do that right at home. And um, it's honestly like less than $2 a bottle when you're getting your refills going. So um, super affordable way to make sure that you are cleaning your hands in a healthy way. Um, speaking of cleaning hands in a healthy way, I mentioned a little bit about how um, hand sanitizers can actually be doing more harm than good. And so um, I do want to mention the On Guard hand sanitizer. So um, doTERRA has the sanitizing mist. It's made with the On Guard. It's so awesome. Um, and I actually like to refill my bottle. Um, and so um, I'll give you the recipe for that. I actually just refilled this one recently. So I won't be able to show you that. But I will tell you what to use. And so you've got um, this is like a 30 milliliter um, I think it's 27 with the doTERRA, but some of the other ones are 30 milliliter bottle that you'll use. And again, just make sure you're choosing um, safe plastic. You can get these um, on the doTERRA website or if you're shopping somewhere else, you can find them too. And so you're just gonna put in five drops of um, whichever oil you're using. I do recommend the On Guard just cause that's super helpful for um, really protecting that immune system. So you're gonna put five drops in there. You're gonna put in a fourth um, of a tablespoon of the fractionated coconut oil. You're gonna put in a half a teaspoon of um, aloe vera. And so what I actually use is this organic one. It's kind of hard to see here, um, but it's seven minerals. And this is an aloe vera that is um, an organic one. And so I do recommend that if you're looking for um, what kind of organic or what kind of aloe to use. So again, this is seven minerals that I really like. Um, and I use that for a couple different things but you'll put in um, a half a teaspoon of that and then fill up the rest of the way with distilled water and then you've got that ready to go. Um, not only do I use this to clean my hands, one of my top ways to use it is actually to spray the grocery cart handle um, when going shopping. So and definitely I just pop that right out of my purse and spray down um, and I feel better about being able to push that cart um, that everyone else has pushed around the store to. So, um, great little tip to reduce your toxic load that way. A couple other personal care things that um, can be super important is things that you use in the shower, right? So your shampoos and your conditioners. Um, start to look at the ingredients and what you're using. Um, I actually switched back and forth between doTERRA shampoo and beauty counter um, just because I have some friends who are beauty counter consultants and I like to support them. So that's kind of why I swap back and forth. I think they both are very good quality and making sure that we're not having all of those, those chemicals in our shampoo. One of the really great things that I love to put in my um, shampoo is um, some essential oils. And so I actually love putting rosemary and geranium in there. Um, rosemary is great for um, hair growth, and then geranium is just great for the texture of your hair. Um, it's actually great for hormone balancing too, and so it's just kind of getting that. Recently, what I did is I actually took a bottle of rosemary and a bottle of geranium just because I use it all the time um, and filled up. Um, I just emptied them into this bottle, and so now I'm keeping that in the shower. So it's got this dropper on there, and you can just um, add a drop to your dollop of shampoo um, and of course I put this cute little um, label on there and it says do what makes your soul happy so got a little um, positive message in the shower too so that's fun um, but that's a really great way to just be mindful of the things that you're using um, and I should have mentioned before too don't feel like you have to do these things all at once um, I love to encourage you to just think of when you're running out of things and start to replace them um, as you run out um, another really good swap is toothpaste. And so um, there's a lot out there, you know, in the past they talked about like how we needed fluoride 
Um, and they're really starting to see that that actually is having a really negative impact on our endocrine system. And so that's something that we do want to be mindful of actually avoiding. So I love the OnGuard um, toothpaste with doTERRA. Um, it is a fluoride free, it's natural whitening toothpaste. It's got the OnGuard blend in there. Um, I've had amazing dental checkups since using this. Um, I also use the OnGuard mouthwash, um, but this is a great swap. So um, use up what you have and then consider swapping over um, to that. And then, you know, actually I want to mention, some people ask about um, the carrageenan that is in there. And some people have heard um, that that's not a great um, thing to use, but I want to tell you it's about how it's sourced. And so it's actually um, a seaweed product. And um, because doTERRA is really, really making sure that they're sourcing them from the best places and the best um, composition in the plants that we're using, um, that that one is totally safe. So in case you have that question, um, sometimes um, dentists have talked about that. And so I want you to know um, that you can feel safe with that one from doTERRA. All right, more personal care. Um, definitely moisturizers. You guys, if you look at lotion bottles, it's just insane what's in there. And, you know, especially if you're seeing the word fragrance in there, that is definitely something that you want to, to stop using um, to avoid that. It's just so disruptive for our body system. And so I really love the doTERRA unscented lotion um, because then you can add, you know, some essential oils there and have your own perfume or your own scented lotion that's going to be safe for your body. So this is a really great swap when you're ready to do that. Um, there are facial moisturizers. I really love the essential line. Um, this is the hydrating cream. Um, I have the face wash and the scrub too in this line. I have um, really liked um, the performance of those as well. And so I mentioned earlier that I do have friends who are consultants for Beauty Counter. I have friends who are consultants for Crunchy. There's wonderful products from them too. Um, of course, I'm just, um, I spent a lot of time with doTERRA, so I'm going to have more of those products, but I do have some of those others as well. So I definitely want to mention that. Um, let's see. Oh, deodorant. So deodorant's like one of those really big things that we have to think about, right? Because we are putting this on our underarms, so close to some really intimate places on our body, um, places that are really absorbing in what we're putting on there. And so um, doTERRA has a couple different ones that you can switch and use. People have asked questions about it, like why doesn't, you know, natural deodorant doesn't seem to work right away. Um, and it's really about your body trying to detox what was there. Um, so I have found that actually using the doTERRA face mask because of the clay um, that's in there. If you put a little bit of that in your underarms um, a few times a week, I just do it right in the shower, leave it on a little bit and then rinse it off. That helps your body to detox and then you will be getting better results from your natural deodorant um, by doing that little trick. So something to try as well. All right, I think those were the beauty or kind of personal care products that I wanted to share with you. Um, another really important way to reduce toxins is to think about those cleaning products that you're using. Um, I don't use a whole ton of cleaners because, um, you know, my friend also is a Norwex um, consultant and so I have wonderful things from her. I've got all those wonderful cloths and different things that I use. Um, there's a couple of things that I am still using. So I do really love the doTERRA On Guard Concentrate. It makes um, like I think it's like 16 or 18 spray bottles, so you can use that if you need a spray for certain things. Um, I actually use it um, kind of in place of how I would use the Castile soap if I was using like my toilet bowl cleaner sometimes. Um, really great to get stains out of things, so um, I, I definitely think that that is a great one to have. Um, and it is actually on sale this month of June. It's 15% off until the end of the month, so we've got a little bit of time left for that one. Um, but one of my top favorite um, cleaning things that I like to put together super quick is toilet bowl cleaner. And how I do that actually is um, there's not a whole lot of measuring and all that going on. As you guys can kind of see, I have that thing. Um, but this is my jar of baking soda. This just sits in the bathroom and I've got this little scoop on the side of it that's actually 
um, made for coffee, um, snagged out on Amazon, of course. And so I just put in like a scoop or two of the baking soda right into the toilet, um, squeeze in a little bit of that on guard concentrate or the Castile soap, and then a couple drops of the lemon essential oil. And then um, and just let it sit for a few, couple minutes and then just roll around um, that toilet brush, give it a scrub. I use my Norwex cloth to wipe off the surfaces and you're ready to go. So that is definitely something that has been just so awesome for switching. I mean, we used to use bleach in our house years ago until I learned all of what that does for our respiratory system and just so much um, toxic load on our body. And so that's that's been out for quite some time, but in the beginning, it was like, are things going to really perform? And it's just so amazing how these so simple things do perform and um, we are healthier for it. So definitely something to think of switching up in your home if you haven't already done that. A um, couple other things that have been helpful in our home um, is definitely switching up laundry soap. Um, there's definitely, you know, different brands out there you, that you can give a whirl. Um, you know, Norwex has a great one. Um, I've used Molly Suds, um, which um, is a great one. And then I really like the doTERRA one too. And so it's really just about your preference. Um, you know, a little bit goes a long way with those um, more natural um, laundry soaps. And so definitely just, just make that switch. Look at those ingredients and know that if you cannot pronounce them, you really shouldn't be um, using them especially on our clothes that are going right on our bodies and our kids' bodies and our families. So definitely something you want to think about switching if you haven't already. And then um, using dryer balls instead of those dryer sheets. Dryer sheets have an incredible amount of toxins in them. So just using a dryer ball and putting a little bit of um, essential oils on that is a great way to, to swap that out. Um, I actually like to put vinegar in my, um, what was the softener slot in the washing machine. Um, I put vinegar in there with some um, of the Purify essential oil from doTERRA, that's a, um, that cleansing blend. And so you can put just a few drops in there that comes out in your rinse cycle. Um, it's really helping to do what a fabric softener would have done in the past with all of those chemicals. So those are some great ways to, to clean and be able to feel good about it um, and be able to know that you are reducing your toxic load for you and your family. So I said in the beginning, there's kind of three top things that we can do, right? Swapping out those personal care, swapping out those cleaning, and then some lifestyle things. Simple, simple things such as the water that we're drinking, you know, using filter water, making sure you're really digging in on that. I'm kind of working on that personally. I'm really um, doing some research and looking at some of those um, reverse osmosis and some of those things. I haven't made that jump yet, so I will be happy to share that with you guys once I kind of figure out what I want to do. But um, just making sure that we're making those choices to one, actually hydrate and drink the water. Um, a really great way to do that is putting citrus oil in there. So if you use a glass or stainless container, just put a drop or two in your water. Um, it helps you to drink more of it. But make sure you are drinking that um, filtered water um, because there, there are a lot of toxins in the water. Um, and then self-care, just making sure that you're tuning into those self-care practices, making sure you're getting, you know, those seven to eight hours of sleep at night. Um, if that's troublesome for you, um, we can talk about some oils to help you with that. Um, you know, doing other um, self-care things, different exercise things that feel right for you. There's so many different ways to move our body um, that will really help um, our physical and our mental health. So those are super important to help our body be able to get rid of that toxic load. Um, because when it is overtaxed and stressed out, it's even harder for our body to get rid of that. So you want to make sure you're tuning into that. Um, and then tuning into those foods. And so um, you guys who know me know that I've been on a journey with that for quite some time and um, probably a story for another time, but I can certainly help you with those kind of things. But really trying to avoid those foods that really have that inflammatory reaction because if we are inflamed, it's really hard for our detox organs to do what they need to do. Um, so some of those inflammatory foods are things like um, 
glutens and vegetable oils and those refined carbs, um, just processed food. Like if you can, you know, encourage yourself to kind of shop on that, the outer um, edges of the grocery store and try to avoid those middles um, as much as you can, you're going to find yourself um, having those foods that are less inflammatory for sure. Um, less sugary foods, um, and then just eating more greens, nuts, um, a little bit of fish if you um, can do that. And then um, when you're choosing fruits, really looking for more of those fruits that are um, lower glycemic. So those ones don't, don't have as much sugar um, in them. Great way to help your body um, with decreasing your inflammatory um, reaction to food so that your body can detox. So all right, I hope that was helpful information. I hope you learned some things. Um, I hope that you were able to kind of see the DIY as I was doing that with the hand soap. Um, I went over, you know, a couple of different recipes. If you need those, definitely reach out to me. If you jump on over to sbellwellness.com, my contact information is there. Shoot me an email, a text, a call, whatever it is. I can help you um, get those recipes. We can talk about some of those things that might be helpful for you to swap out, whether it be personal care or cleaning um, or any of those things that you need for sleep and exercise and um, even some diet things. I'm happy to, to help you with what I know. So please um, reach out and let me know if there's anything that I can help you with. Thank you so much for joining in and um, I hope that I can help support you in your journey with um, using natural solutions for your wellness. And I will see you next time. Take care, you guys.